Hi guys, this is your sailor friend Hitesh and today we are going to talk about different aspects of the life of a junior engineer. Let's start with the good news. Many companies have reduced the contract period of a junior engineer from 9 months down to 6 months. You must be thinking why is that such a good news? Well, stick around and you will soon find out. Now, the general duties of a junior engineer are more or less the same. but the details of his work and the quality of life depends mostly on the captain the chief engineer and the second engineer so it varies from ship to ship joining day it is the most exciting and beautiful feeling in the world standing in front of a huge floating structure and knowing that you will be calling it home for the next 9 months it can be overwhelming enough to distract you from the fact that you are there to work and not on a holiday now you board the ship through the gangway which is basically stairs then someone takes you to your room where you keep your luggage and meet the guy you will be relieving then you go to the bridge to submit your documents to the captain and meet the crew if you are lucky you will get to rest for a couple of hours but normally the handing over and taking over of duties starts immediately and the old junior engineer leaves the same day of course with a big smile on his face daily work when on board the junior engineer assists the second engineer with his watch which is usually from morning 6 to 12 and then evening 6 to 12 plus he also has to perform his daily duties in that time when sailing the day starts at 6 am From 6 a.m. to 7:30 a.m., you assist the duty engineer for the engine room rounds and take tank soundings. 7:30 to 8 a.m. is for breakfast. 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. routine maintenance work. It includes cleaning of filters, mopping of engine room floors, assisting senior engineers in maintenance work, firing the insulator, transferring sludge, following orders, and being pushed around a lot. At around 11:15, you start checking all the parameters of the engine room machinery. Take several readings and note them down in the engine room logbook. Get the logbook signed by the chief engineer and the duty engineer. All this before 12 p.m. And at exactly 12 p.m., you have to note down the engine revolution counter. Everybody leaves for lunch break after that, but you stay and wait for the second officer's call to give you the distance traveled. Sometimes you get the distance by 12 or 5, sometimes you wait till 12:30. Depends on how competent your deck department really is. After this you go for lunch. You have to be back in the engine room by 1 p.m. Then you indulge in the routine work till 5 p.m. and from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. you help the duty engineer in the engine room rounds and prepare engine room for UMS. You leave by 6. take bath and have to be on the dinner table by 6:30 in uniform after dinner you get to socialize watch some tv or play indoor games till about 9 pm at 9 pm you have to go back to the engine room to assist the duty engineer in engine room rounds again fill up the logbook and also fill up the ums checklist the duty engineer leaves by 10 pm after the rounds and you leave when you have finished all your work Other than this you also have to fill and file a lot of paperwork most of which you will be doing in your own free time Sounds pretty hectic right There's more During the time of bunkering you will assist the senior engineer the whole time It doesn't matter how long it takes you will be there throughout If there is an emergency situation on board you might have to work for 48 hours at a stretch fixing the problem All this workload along with the feeling of homesickness and sleepless nights due to rolling and pitching of the ship can lead to a very stressful 9 months on board but the knowledge and the experience you acquire in this time is totally worth the trouble shore leave modern day ships and ports have highly advanced loading and unloading mechanisms so often times the ship is in and out of the port within 24 hours Out of these 24 hours you'll be working for a good 12 hours in two shifts of 6 hours each and you'll sleep for at least 6 hours. Now you have to manage your daily routines and take out time to go ashore all in the remaining 6 hours. Needless to say it is not enough time to explore a new country but that's all you have. So you go out drink a couple of beers get a good massage and go sightseeing whatever pleases your soul. Just come back on time for your watch because ship doesn't wait for anyone. Sign off. 
in the nine months of your sailing contract, you think about this day almost every single night when you lay down in your bed. And when the time finally comes, it feels like the most satisfying day of your life. It feels as if a massive load has been lifted off of your shoulders. You will be the happiest you have ever been. It cannot be defined in words. So guys, this was my sailing experience. And for your information, I sailed for 9 months and 20 days. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or queries to ask us, post them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. Do share this video with people you think need to see this. Do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.